Welcome to my channel where you are learning linear algebra. Imagine for a moment that you have been asked the mathematics behind various algorithms like KNN, logistic regression, SVM, etc. Today's video is important to understand that mathematics. Till now we have seen importance of linear algebra, vectors, row vectors, column vectors, dot products and angle between two vectors. In the last video we have seen projection and unit vectors and today we are going to focus on equation of a line, plane and a hyperplane. We have learned about point or vector. Let's move ahead and learn about line. Let's look at what is line in 2D. Suppose we have x1 and x2 axis. If you recall in our, sc in our school days, we used to write line as y equal to mx plus c, where m is the slope of line and c is the intercept on y axis. This is one equation of line. There is an other equation of line called as ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, which is general form of line. And both are equivalent. And you can prove it because by just rewriting the equation, I can write as y equal to minus c by b minus a by b into x. So here, c here is minus c by b and m here is minus a by b. Ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is called a general form of line. Here if our axes are x1 and x2, then general form of equation can be written as ax1 plus bx2 plus c is equal to 0. Since in linear algebra, we are generalizing concepts of 2D and 3D to higher dimensions, so general form of equation we will write as w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w0 is equal to 0 which is equation of line in 2D. The same notations we will use for higher dimensions. Line is a linear surface in 2D. What about 3D? Equivalent idea of line in 2D is a plane in 3D. In our school days, we have learned equation of a plane as ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0. Here we have three axes, x1, x2 and x3. And if we generalize it, the equation would be w1, x1 plus w2, x2 plus w3, x3 plus w0 is equal to 0, which is equation of linear surface. This is equation of plane. So in 2D, it is called line. In 3D, it is called plane. And in ND, it is called hyperplane line is called linear surface because it separates the whole region into two regions it's linear structure one region is on one side and one side of the line and the other region is on the other side of the line similarly plane can separate the whole region into two regions in 3d one is above plane and another is below the plane you might ask what is the equation of plane in nd for ND, we call it hyperplane. Hyperplane W0 plus W1x1 plus W2x2 plus Wnxn equal to 0. This is the equation of n dimensional hyperplane. We can write this equation in more concise way as W0 plus summation over i equal to 1 to n Wi xi equal to 0. This is summation notation. There is a slightly more interesting way to write this equation. I can write it as w0 plus w1 w2 wn x1 x2 xn equal to 0. This is nothing but vector notation. Here we are just changing the notation slightly. Here x is the vector which has n rows and one column. So notation wise we can write it as x n cross 1. Similarly vector w has one row and n columns. So it can be written as w 1 cross n. 
this is simple matrix multiplication of a row vector with a column vector we will look at different properties of line and plane in next few videos as i mentioned earlier given any vector if i write vector w by default it's a column vector this is just for simplicity for notation purpose only if i write a vector x of n dimensions it would be column vector x and cross 1 using these notations w and x which are column vectors we can rewrite our above equation as w0 plus w transpose x equal to 0 here we are applying transpose operation on vector w to convert column vector to row vector this is more concise way to write a equation planes are typically written as pi equation of plane for any dimensional space would be pi w0 plus w transpose x is equal to 0 if w is n cross 1 and x is n cross 1 then this is the equation of plane for n dimensional space let's understand what does w0 actually mean to understand this we will take 2d example which is very very easy to understand so now if we write a general equation of 2d line which we saw earlier w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w0 equal to 0 we can rearrange the terms here and can write it as x2 is equal to minus w0 by w2 minus w1 by w2 into x1 here minus w0 by w2 is nothing but c and minus w1 by w2 is nothing but my m x2 is nothing but y and x1 is x if line is passing through origin c becomes 0 right but c equal to minus w0 by w2 so w0 has to be 0 in general equation our general equation is w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w0 equal to 0 is the general equation of line suppose i have to write a line passing through origin uh, what would be the equation of uh, line in 2d my equation of line would be w1 x1 plus w2 x2 equal to 0 in 3d equation of a plane would be w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 equal to 0 for nd equation of hyperplane would be w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus wn xn equal to 0 which is nothing but w transpose x equal to 0 this is equation of a plane passing through origin if it is not passing through origin then equation would be w transpose x plus w0 equal to 0 let's understand this in different way to interpret this equation suppose i have two points w and x in n dimensional space dot product would be w dot x equal to w transpose x equal to norm w norm x into cos theta equal to 0 for a plane passing through origin where theta is the angle between w and x the moment w norm w into norm x into cos theta equal to 0 then theta becomes 90 degree which means w and x are perpendicular to each other we can also say that if w and x are perpendicular to each other then theta is equal to 90 degree suppose i have a plane pi let's assume this is origin our plane is passing through origin let's assume this is any point x1 on this plane let's assume w is a vector like this which is perpendicular to plane pi and also passing through origin this is just for simplicity x1 is a point on the plane since w and x1 are perpendicular to each other w dot x1 is equal to 0 so for any point on this plane if we take any point on this plane if w is perpendicular to this plane then w dot x1 is equal to 0 and that's what we are calling the equation of the plane if w is perpendicular to uh, pi then w dot x1 xi is equal to 0 for every xi belongs to pi 
one way to interpret this equation w transpose x is equal to zero suppose i have a plane pi which is passing through origin and suppose i have a vector w which is perpendicular to the plane this is one way to interpret uh, what w is w is the vector which is perpendicular to the plane at origin this is important unit vector of w is nothing but w cap equal to w divided by norm w instead of w let's assume i have a unit vector w even then my w cap into xi will be zero for every xi belonging to my plane often times plane is represented with a vector or with a unit vector w cap often times it it is just written as w it represented a unit vector which is uh, perpendicular to a plane here we have assumed that plane is passing through origin for simplicity often times we assume that plane is passing through origin if it does not then we can change the axis and make it passing through origin by shifting axis in coordinate system in the next video we are going to focus on distance of a point from a plane hyperplane this is Gunjan Warder signing out until we meet again.